What is up, everybody? And welcome back to Italian Football TV. So the highly anticipated debate, the one that you guys were all waiting for, Antonio against Gaetano. Let me remind you of something. Mourinho is the coach that destroyed the, some of the top players. Let me make the list for you. Svechenko, when he went from AC Milan to Chelsea, he was benched. Kaká, when he went from AC Milan to Real Madrid, he was benched. He brought us into the a final. Real champion is knows how to put the he ball right into the net. Into the final. Castano will make it a cucchiaio to score a penalty like yeah, that. Yeah, but if he was there. But the problem was, was not there. <laughs> where, where, where was he in the World Cup? Guys, how do you feel? Are you guys excited for this debate? Me? Excited? Yeah. Are you excited? What am I going to do with this guy here? How about you? Are you oh, excited? yeah. I'm very very, very excited. Okay, so let me explain the rules for anyone that's new here. We've done a few of them before, but this is how it works. We asked you guys to send us in topics from Twitter and from Instagram tailored towards Antonio and Gaetano. There are five. Hey, don't look at the questions. He's looking <laughs> over here. <laughs> there are five topics. You each debate them. If you pick a topic, Gaetano, you have to say the opposite. So one, whatever one chooses, the other has to argue with. Whether you agree or whether you don't agree, looking at the topics, I think that they're tailored so that you, you guys have your own interests aside. 30 seconds. You don't get to go more. Maybe I'll give you more if the, if the topic's really good, but that's how it works. You guys understand? Uh, we understand. Any questions? What is this, Jeopardy? Uh... It's like Jeopardy. Okay. okay, you guys want to do rock paper for who picks it first? You go first. <laughs> yeah. Question number one. What is harder to achieve? Winning 37 Scudetti or seven Champions Leagues? Your time is going to begin now. Probably uh, uh, not too many teams have a seven Champions uh, League. So I'm going to say seven Champions League. Why? Well, uh, if we look at the record... Uh, the teams, uh, a team like Manchester City, who's who spend uh, six, seconds. seven hundred million euros, they cannot win a, uh, a Champions League. So to win a Champions League, not only takes a great team, but you all, it's got to be a team that is together, have been playing together for a okay. while. Time is up. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. But wait, now he did what I did against Peter, which is I chose the opposite topic so that Peter had to again had to argue against it. So, Antonio, your time is going to start now. 37, 30 seconds on why it's harder to win 37 Scudetti. It's harder. Number one, is because, uh, you know, 37 Scudetti, will, it will take a, a team of 50, 60 years. And you have to have a lot of money, consistency, and investing on the team. And, uh, you know, uh, it's not easy. You know, uh, whether you play in Italy, you play in France, or you play anywhere. Nobody so far that I know in this world uh, has achieved the, the 37, uh, uh, you know, uh, championship. Championship. So, uh it's, it has to do with uh, with the club, with the money, with the commitment, with the ownership, with a lot Five of uh, all of those things. Uh, ownership, uh, politics, and uh, so it's harder. Uh, that's it. It's harder. Wow. Well, you know, Juventus did 37, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> Is that why you, I well, don't know. 30, 37, 37 is because they took away couple, couple with them that they, they, they're not really, uh, they're not. Okay. Is this part of the argument? Yeah. The, the, no, no, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> A little extra. Okay. So topic number two, Antonio, you're going to get to choose this one. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll say it and then the, the time will start. Should you celebrate when you score against your former team? Antonio, your time will start now. Absolutely. Unless, uh, you know, uh, it, it's it's something that has to do with the debt of somebody or things like that. But I will listen, soccer is about scoring and, uh, and uh, you know, keeping your fan, the people, uh, the, the team that you're playing on, uh, uh, you know, happy. You know, whether you score against uh, Juventus or you're scoring against uh, Napoli, you score, it is, doesn't matter. It has nothing to do with that. Even so if it's your former team. If it's your former team, it doesn't matter. I mean, once you decide, once you're not on that team anymore, you have to just, you play for that group and you have to just put your money into the group and put your full uh, body and mind into that group. So for so me, if Cassano is, scores from Inter against Milan, it's okay to celebrate. Uh, well, number one is not going <laughs> to happen. <laughs> okay, but, uh, yeah. It's not going to happen anymore, but uh, it's okay. Yeah, okay, I wow. would say it's okay. Respect. Wow. Okay, so he changed everything. Now... The time is going to start for you. <laughs> Why shouldn't you celebrate against your former team? 
Are you crazy? You want to celebrate against your former team? This is very disrespectful. That's the first thing. I mean, can you imagine you, you, the team that you have played for for so many years, now you score a goal. You know you know the way you should go? You should go like this. And put you in. And nothing. Oh, because you, you, you show that you have no respect for your former team. So you say and Cristiano, that, Ronaldo, Cristiano Ronaldo scoring against Real Madrid is supposed to be like this? Of course. Of course. What's the matter with you? Time is up. Uh, I respect it. That was a great, great argument against one that you didn't want. Okay. Topic number three. And guys, as always, make sure you're voting who won round one, who won round two. Now, round three, you get to choose. Gaetano, you get to choose. Who is a better coach? And we'll say in 2019, for argument's sake, Jose Mourinho or Gennaro Gattuso? If I had to sign a coach right now, I would probably, yeah, I would sign Mourinho. I would go for Mourinho. Uh, sure, I would go. Mourinho, you have to look at what he has done. Okay, he had a couple of bad years at uh, Manchester United, but if you go back, the guy has always been a winner. Uh, he won with Porto, he won with, uh, with the Real Madrid, he won with uh, Inter. I mean, the triplete is something that uh, 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 not to, uh, to happen in... Uh, uh, it's something that was accomplished and very, very difficult to do. Okay, there we go. Unsurprised by that. Antonio, I'm going to start your time now. Go. Thank God you pick up Mourinho because, you know, if you were to, play, to pay me to get Mourinho to, uh, to coach my team AC Milan, <laughs> I will just abandon the team altogether. Number one, let me remind you of something. Mourinho is the coach that destroyed the, some of the top players. Let me make the list for you. Svechenko, when he went from AC Milan to Chelsea, he was benched. Okay? Kaká, when he went from AC Milan to Real Madrid, he was benched. So those are talking about Pallone Doros, okay? But why is Gattuso better? Much better. Not just better. It's much better. Number one, Gattuso doesn't Five create seconds. problem into the locker room. And it's a, it's a it's, it, it pretends a lot of respect and it yeah. demands a lot of respect. I should have taken. I should have taken. Yeah. Uh, 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 <laughs> no, I said I don't know uh, this game yet. Uh, no, 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 uh, it's okay. It's good though. It's good sometimes uh, that you take your role. Um, okay. But I had to I say the said truth. He destroyed Pogba. He destroyed a lot of other players. But uh, you know, yeah, you will give me only thirty seconds. But I, <laughs> hey, how how long do you need? How long do you need to read a list about why Mourinho? Oh bad? my God! It's uh, an hour. I need an hour to just talk. Okay. Am I right, Ryan? Topic number four, and this one is a great one. I got to say, this is the one I'm most excited for. No, I'm for. get the pick. You get the pick. Okay. Who is the better player, Antonio Cassano or, <laughs> <laughs> or Roberto Baggio? Antonio, you get to choose. I think we're all going to be surprised by your choice. 30 seconds starting now. Uh, listen, as much as you guys wanted uh, me to pick up Roberto Baggio, I'm not going to pick up Roberto Baggio, <laughs> okay? Because for obvious reasons, I mean, uh, Roberto Baggio, when he played, he played with nothing but with top players. So why is Cassano better? Oh, Cassano, Cassano is, uh, he's got something that nobody has, okay? Which is? Which is uh, quality on his feet, number one, quality on his head, number two. And he's a god. He's a god of, uh, of the, with the soccer ball. I mean, uh, he didn't win with exactly what uh, Baggio did win. In other words, he won with, uh, with, uh, with Italy. But uh, Cassano, it's just, uh, you know, it's, a, it's above. Uh, it's on the sky. It's on the, it's on the cloud. It's just up there. It's, nobody can, uh, can challenge okay. him. Uh, Dad, I know that you didn't get the one that you wanted. So this is going to be a hard, uh, a hard one for you to argue. But your 30 seconds starts now. Are you crazy? Are no, you out not. of your mind? Are you crazy? Are you out of your mind? I'm definitely before, not. Before you are a good player, you have to be a, a good, you have to have a good head. And Cassano does not have a good head. Now, you're talking about Baggio. Probably the best player ever played in Italy. I've seen Baggio score goals from midfield. They got the ball from midfield, score, dribble the whole team and I score think. a goal. I mean, the guy is at uh, the high, the skills and the, the, the leadership and the, the, the technical ability of this guy is unbelievable. Antonio, I will give you 10 seconds just to, to pounce back at that if you want. 
Cassano is someone that can make anybody score. The biggest loser in the world. You just put them to play next to Cassano. Cassano is just going to put your ball into your foot just to make you score. Would I be able to score if I play with Cassano? Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, please. Can I, can I please. Oh, uh, 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 how many World Cups did uh, Cassano play? That was not the question. And, uh, and, and, and Baggio. Baggio, 1994, he brought us to the final of the World yeah. Cup. Wow. But then let's not forget that Baggio just missed a penalty, oh too. Oh, my God. Okay. You and have then, a uh, Okay. Well, uh, now, then what? Now what? What is that? We're not talking about penalty. It. We're He's talking about he brought us into the a final. A real champion is knows how to put the he ball right into the net. into the final. Castano will make it a cucchiaio to score a penalty like yeah, that. Yeah, but if he was there. But the problem was <laughs> he was not there. <laughs> where, where, where was he in the World Cup? Well, he was injured. Where, where was <laughs> 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 we completely threw the rules out of that one. All right, that all was right, way too good. Right. Guys, the last and final round. This one could be the decider. It was thrown in there last minute. Round five. You picked last? Yeah, you picked last time. So you're going to pick, but I don't think it will matter too much. Between Antonio and between Gaetano, who is the better footballer? Uh, not Antonio. <laughs> So you? No, I'm only kidding. No, Antonio is actually a, a good player. I mean, he has got uh, some uh, physical ability. He's big. He plays... Uh, so you're choosing uh, Antonio? Yeah, I'm choosing Antonio. He plays the last man. Um, he's, uh, he's got some uh, leadership quality, which is yelling a lot on top of his lungs, Five screaming seconds. at everybody. But uh, yeah, he's a good player. Well, the question was who was the better player. So he's yeah, the better player. Antonio. Okay, Antonio. <laughs> <laughs> the stage is set for you. He got me, this guy. <laughs> <laughs> he got me. <laughs> I was about to reverse the whole thing. He got me. I can't believe it. Oh, my God. That's my time starts now. Your time starts now. Well, okay. No, this is a game that they're playing, I guess, with us. So I, I have to say that he's the better player. Number one, he was first All-American uh, He's got leadership uh, uh, skills, and uh, nice. even when he plays with me on the Brooklyn Italian, unfortunately, I put him in charge of uh, being on the field to make it be the decision maker on the midfield, and uh, I trust his uh, his um, his leadership skill. His his physical uh, his physical strength is not there anymore because uh, <laughs> you know we keep playing with the wrong team sometimes. But uh, you know, uh, I will pick him definitely. Wow. It's, uh, Okay, so let me give you guys some back. I'll give you backstory and then backstory. When we didn't know if we should ask this question, if it would be good enough. So when Antonio walked in, we said, Antonio, who's a better player between you and Gaetano? <laughs> he goes, me by far. <laughs> he goes, I'm strong. I'm a coach. I'm so much better. Uh, that is hilarious. Guys, that's a debate. I know that you were reluctant to do it, but I think it was fun. Um, and down below, the five rounds... Who do you think won? Do you think Antonio won or do you think Gaetano won? And then, as always, then we'll, we'll move on and the next person will play somebody. I think now Mike is the only one who hasn't debated anyone, so maybe the winner will play against Mike. But guys... Guys, vote for me. Vote Antonio. Right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you won. Can um, you ask the question again uh, about uh, Mourinho and Gattuso? Yeah, can you ask that question? Mourinho or Gattuso? Uh, of course, I'm going to take Gattuso. Gattuso was... <laughs> no way! No way! Gattuso, no way! Gattu no way! Gattuso no was... Uh, <laughs> if, if we look at Gattuso, what he no did... No way! No and, uh, way! In the second half, I mean, the guy, he was unbelievable. He <laughs> has passion. He coaches. He puts... No and way. not only that, no but way. when he says... Uh, when he goes on TV... He always takes responsibility for his action. And that's one of the best I things about Gattuso. <laughs> Antonio, go. Okay, you know what? I think you convinced me. I think that Mourinho, I think he's better. You know what he's better at? I ruined everybody's <laughs> life. <laughs> he's very good at that. In other words, if you have some skill and leadership, all he's going to do is going to take you out of your game. Uh, he's going to destroy you. Even if you're the Pallone d'Oro and all the stuff, he's going to destroy you. So, he's so for that case, I take Mourinho. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> well played, well played. Guys, good debate. Comment down below who won it. Very good.